It's time to say goodbye to our home, at least temporarily, because we are going to start designing and building our ultimate survival base in this episode. So our objectives today are number one, plan a spawn proof ultimate survival base. And number two, build a temporary but functional shelter. Before we go, there are two things I need to do. First of all, I need to come up here and use this. I'm going to actually name the dog. So I always name my dog Mickey. All right, so we just need to use this, go up to the dog and right click. And there we go. The dog's name is Mickey now. And I need to get some other things as well. So right over here, we have... Oh, it's right here. We have the white wool here. But I need to make a new pair of shears. The reason for this is I need wool. I need to bring wool and we're going to be using a lot. We've got a lot of sheep where we're going as well. So that's fine. Let's grab all this and... Uh, this is going to be used in our temporary housing. Did I get everything? I think so. All right. So we're going to head over to the new base location, but we're not bringing the horse or donkey or mule. And they're going to have a hard time getting across the water. But these guys, they're coming with me. And we're going to go and take the boat. We're going to hug the coast so that they can easily uh, come along with us. I thought I heard a skeleton. I guess not. I think we did. <laughs> it's probably underground. All right, so we're going to head over and I'll meet you there. You'll notice that uh, the dog and cat are floating there. Uh, you know, I'd like to test how far that they can teleport. So I'm just going to come up here. They're not going to immediately teleport here because we're not on land yet. So let's see if they come when I get over here. Yep. Okay, good. I'm actually unsure of the uh, how far away you can go before they will teleport or their maximum distance of teleportation. So we have a bit of a problem. These guys, they were here not too long ago, but now they're hiding. Um, this is not good. I don't see a captain in here. Just, just those guys. I'm wondering if we can go around them. So I may just go over here and try to get around because I don't want to fight them at the moment because they are brutal. I only have iron armor and uh, well I do have a bow. I could fight them but I'd, I'd risk others dying but it looks like they're staying. Okay that's good. All right welcome to your new home Mickey and unnamed cat I need a name for him. In the comment section below, give me some suggestions for the cat. What should his name or her name be? And uh, first time sleeping over here. Here we go. Ah, uh, once we can sleep. This area, I think, would be great for the base. We've got, on two sides, we've got this uh, cliff wall. I think that would be great. Uh, we can also build our mine going into there. Since this is a mountain biome, that means we can mine emeralds. And that will come in very useful. I also like that we have a waterfall here. We could do something with that. Uh, there's a giant hole right over here. This, uh, this could be useful as well. Kind of like a giant rock quarry or something. But uh, yeah, we'll figure out what to do with that in the future. But for now, I'd like to set up our temporary housing, which is going to actually be a tent. Let's take a look at the comment of the video. This is from, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, F-N-A-F-T-U-S-O. 
Uh, Jay, polar bear, please. I don't know how to tame. That's a good question, actually. Um, and I actually had to look it up because I don't really deal with polar bears very much. But you cannot tame them. It's not possible to tame them or breed them. They they just spawn in. And they're they're pretty neutral. They won't attack you unless you attack them or if they have a cub. So there's that. So be careful around them, but they shouldn't bother you. And again, you can't tame them, unfortunately. Now we're going to be starting with the tent, first of all. Now, I think this area is a decent place. I could just, you know, sleep here and go fishing. A great fishing spot. Also, uh, from here on out, much of what we do in this season is going to be more building-based. So we're going to do plenty of that. Also, this area has access to four different kinds of wood, including the wonderful dark oak. But we will be going off in that direction for jungle wood, which is going to be great. Can't wait to get some stuff from there, including bamboo, which we will be using to make scaffolding. So what I want to do here is I think this is the best direction to go. So we're going to start off and make this, I think, six long is good. Now, the question is, how wide should this be? Because I want to go up high enough so that I can have room to stand inside. We don't need it to be too big. But I want it to be an odd number. So it's one, two, three, four, five, maybe that wide. So we'll have that there. It's going to be a fairly wide tent. There we go. And we are going to need some more, of course, we're going to need some more wool. Um, but we're going to make sure we have uh, a fairly safe entrance here because I want that and we're gonna not go up there we're gonna go up here and from here we will be able to place another layer and right here as well and there we go we got 20 left so we're gonna go up another one right up here let me see if I can get this there we go and one here. And then we just have the roof. Eight left. Perfect. Okay, so I just need to place in that there. Come up here. And we got the main part of the tent done. There we go. So the question is, how much room do we have in here? Oh, it's, it's pretty good. But uh, we're going to need some way to block any mobs from coming in here. The back here is going to be completely enclosed with fences. And that will make it nice and safe. There we go. I'm going to get some more wood, but this spot is noisy. Sounds like we've got zombies down here. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place some cobblestone here. I need to check this out in case there is a spawner. A spawner would be absolutely incredible, especially for getting XP. So let's get some more trees. Make sure you grab some saplings. If you don't have trees right around where you're building, uh, it's a good idea to plant a few so you can have much quicker access to wood. Nighttime's coming, so it's a good time to put your bed in here. And yeah, this will be fine. We'll be able to get out of the bed fairly easily. Let's finish off the outside. So I have an idea for the supports. I can go up like this with a gate. Not gate, fences. We don't need gates yet. And like this, just all the way up the side. And it makes it look like you've got some wooden supports in there. You can do the same on the back, of course. And just go up like this. And you can also do one right down the top. Kind of like that. If it if you don't like that, that's fine. You can do a little bit of a different design if you like. But I think it gives it an interesting look. 
Now let's do a bit of safety and lighting. Let's extend this. So we have got some light in here. And I think back there, I think that will be fine. So the safety, we got that. Nothing can get in. At least nothing should be able to, except a skeleton wanting to shoot us through there. But that's fine. You just go to sleep early. Uh, let's see, I've got that done. Now, I did get some logs. I need to get a bit more. What I want to do here is under here, I want to make this look a little bit nicer. Give it a bit more structure. So we're just going to use logs running right through here. There we go. And we'll do the same with the back. Before we furnish this place, I'm going to replace the floor here with oak slabs. Give it a, a bit more structure here. I know it's unusual to have a, a tent with a wooden floor, but this is going to be a permanent structure here. We're not going to be taking this down. To conserve space, you can put your crafting table in the floor. That makes it a nice decoration as well. And let's just get the rest of this and we'll finish the interior. All right, this guy just spawned right here and scared me. <laughs> I actually jumped. Um, I did not craft this on screen. I should have done that. But uh, I made a campfire. So this is how you make it. You need three sticks, coal or charcoal, and logs. And what I'm going to use this for is out here. We're going to have a little spot where you can come and have a nice warm campfire. It offers light, but you can also cook on it, which is really convenient. But uh, I've got myself a furnace, which I'm going to place along one side here. And I think we're going to put in a bunch of storage in here as well. And uh, the barrels. Uh, we're going to place along here. This will take up space that is otherwise wasted. So this is going to be really nice. we got lots of storage in here. Uh, again, we may not use all of the storage, but you know what? I like how this works out. It feels a lot better in here now. Let's see the campfire in action. Except these guys kept on walking right over it. All you need to do is right click and there we've got salmon cooking. And let's put the cod on as well. There and there. This takes a little while to cook, but once they are fully cooked, they'll just pop off and you can grab them. And there we go. We got the salmon done. And the cod is done. So let's go over here and plan the base. When you're planning a village, town, base, or pretty much anything, it's a good idea to mark out where you want everything to be built. Unless you want to just wing it the whole way, but uh, for this, I'd like to plan this out. Now, there are a few things I want to have built, and you know, when you're planning, it's a good idea to use some material to outline where the buildings are going. I'm going to use cobblestone, because uh, I don't see any cobblestone around here. So, first of all, I am actually going to use this oak sign. And what I want to do here, I want to make a little garden. I think that'll be pretty interesting. Maybe even a little fishing spot here. So fill this in, plant some, uh, some plants around it. Uh, what I want to do right about here, this is going to be the main house, which will also have storage in it. Uh, that's a little too long. And over here, right where that hole is, or very close to the hole, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, I'd like to have our mine going in here. I think this is almost like a perfect spot for it right here because it's because the way this is indented. So this is our mine entrance. And a little farther away, I'd like to keep the... Uh, nether portal a bit away from there because you know it gets noisy so nether portal could come over here 
Now, we do have a choice here. We can put a lot of our things inside, or we can do separate builds for things like enchantment and brewing. And you know what? I would like to do separate buildings for enchanting and brewing. And I'm going to figure out some spots for that, and we have some other planning to do as well. I decided that we're going to have both the brewing and the enchanting areas along along here. It's going to be inside a bit. Easy access to water from there, so we'll have a pool down here. I outlined the front of the main house, so it'll come out like this, as well as the mine and over there. I didn't outline anything there. Uh, I'm not going to yet, but what I'd like to do is have an entirely enclosed area in here. So we're going to have walls coming out from probably about here. So this is going to be part of our wall and we're going to have the wall coming out and it doesn't have to be straight. It's going out like this and I want to include this hole. I want something to do with this. I don't know. Oh, and there's a skeleton right under there. Although I may leave that on the outside. That that may be smarter. But yeah, so we'll have walls going out. I want to leave a fairly large area inside because I want to have animals and plants. Because we do need to have farming, right? We need some kind of supply. But we're not going to build everything inside. We will have some things outside as well. And that will come later on. So basically what we're building is just the central courtyard of what could become a village. But we're not... I don't think we're going to be building a village unless we have a lot of time before 1.17 comes out. So this area is fairly good size. We're going to have a lot of plants as well as animals. It's time for the pop quiz. Number one. What kind of things do you like to have in your survival base? And number two, how do you mob-proof your base? Let me know in the comment section below. As I mentioned before, I want to make things look good. Now we're going to get back to the planning in a moment, but there's one thing I forgot to do here. I want to make it so that we have some paths going down here. Make this look like it's used. And there we go. And that one too, and that one too. So there. This looks like uh, we actually use this area. I am going to move this elsewhere. I don't want it sitting right there. But the whole area between this and the base, I would like to build things in. Now, I don't have a, an exact plan of what I want to put in here, but I would like to leave that up to you a bit. So what kind of things would you like to see in here? Now, what I mean by that is we could have things like a blacksmith or things like that. So we can use villager job blocks. We can use any of those workstations to our advantage. So let me know what you would like to see outside the base. I've also added something here for a tower. I'd like to be able to come up here in case we have things like uh, pillagers coming in. We can defend ourselves. Now for mob proofing, this entire area that is going to be inside the walls is going to be completely mob proofed. One of the things we do for that is we light up the whole area with torches, which I'm going to start right now because I want to have this area lit up fairly well. I don't want to have to deal with mobs coming in here. And make sure everything is lit up very nicely. And I will complete the whole area. Another thing we have to deal with is the fact that we've got caves around here. And as I walk around here, I, I hear them. It's a skeleton. Somewhere under there. I have seen skeleton, not seen, but heard skeletons. I've heard zombies. I even heard an enderman. But enderman can appear anywhere. So... Another thing we're going to have to do is go down and light up some stuff. So 
we don't have anything down there. Yeah, all I hear is mobs everywhere. We've got quite the cave system down there. We're not yet done with our starter base. We will be going back there a few times and not really building there, but we will be using a lot of the stuff that's still there. But we need a way to get there that's much faster, not over land and water. And I do want to get the horse, donkey, and mule over here. But how do you think we can get them over here? If you have a guess, let me know in the comment section below. But it is time for your homework. So I'd like you to take a screenshot of your base plans and or temporary shelter and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. So we have a lot of work to do here. Lots of building. This area we could even build an entire town. I mean, we could if we have time. But I've got a lot of things I want to build inside the enclosed area and outside. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.